okay here's your model uh, what I want to do is make uh, solids out of both of these pieces so if I union them together then they'll have a common seam that will fill it uh, I'm going to use some blends to get some curves to throw along the edge of your wing uh, so to get some nice curvature and have one piece um, this piece right here has a hard edge in it um, not really uh, a good curve or anything it's just a it's a hard edge um, create some problems later on down the road <coughs> Plus, uh, so here's a way to do that. Um, first thing I'm going to do is uh, I kept curves out to kind of to show me your original intent and that I can work off of that. Uh, so I'm going to separate this. First, let's delete some surfaces. Separate these. Now I'm going to select edges control a to select all of them hit delete that uh, untrims the surface because what I want is it to punch all the way through that body because I'm going to be unioning them okay so now I want to find out the blend that's going to uh, give me the closest curvature for your old existing uh, curve that was that you were shooting for right there so if that green one is it I'm going to hit blend and I've determined already by trial and error that a value of 10 was it right so um, let's go ahead and take that and then what I'm going to do is extract that edge back there okay now um, I can't just blend that because that's just a nice straight perfect wing you had you came down here and then you had a kink and then you came down to this one right so I'm gonna delete that right there and then I'm gonna extract these edges down here control C control V now I'm gonna run a blend on those edges and I've determined that a value of three is uh, pretty close to the old end cap that you had I didn't save that I should have saved that edge so you could see it but um, it's actually like two point something or other but I mean three is just a nice even round number for the sake of this right um, so that gives me a curve on the end there that's a nice blended curve oops I want to keep this one because it's a reference for where I want my kink to be now um, if I just go uh, from here to this one and I sweep it uh, I won't have my kink it'll just be a straight surface there so I need to get an interim curve in here that's going to create my kink right and uh, you know I don't want to sweep and stop here and then sweep here and stop there I want it all to be one nice continuous surface so I'm going to do another blend and this time I'm going to choose uh, six yeah Let's go with uh, 6.5. And then, now, I did that because once I have that there, now I can use this surface to extract another curve from. So I'm going to trim that surface. And I can select that edge of that new surface, Control C, Control V and now I have a nice blended uh, curve there although I might want to go more because it looks like I've dropped back down in this and I don't know if I would necessarily want to do that so let me go ahead and get another blend if I go 8 okay that looks pretty good there let's try let's try an 8 and uh, this is the part where we're fooling around um, it's going to determine we'll have to look at the result to see if we get our kink um, as we want it right copy and paste okay now what I can do is uh, I can sweep those three curves I just got along these 
these edges. And it looks like I didn't move my kink. My kink is a little uh, over here when really what I want it to be is here. So what I would do is uh, I would back up two steps and I would move my cutting line over to about here and then that kink would slide down to right there, right? Um, let's go ahead and back up then right now, see if we can do that. Back up. Could have moved it down even a little bit more if I was really getting picky, uh, but it comes down and then it blends and makes that transition right there. I'm going to call that good enough just for the sake of showing. Um, and so now what I have join is uh, a wing with a nice uh, single piece blended with that edge in it right there. Now, the other part I want to do is um, I want to make, uh, if I select those edges right there and delete them, it recovers that. Um, now, if I come here and I select planar and it doesn't do anything on this, uh, this edge isn't planar, then it doesn't. And the other thing is, is the tip of this right here is really bad geometry. Uh, that's not a, you're going to want to rethink uh, how that is done there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get a planar edge on both of these just to make it easy for me to get a solid but you uh, would be uh, looking obviously at um, you want to keep your edges planar wig weird wiggly edges like that on the end that don't do anything uh, are only going to create problems for you with everything else down the road because uh, it doesn't need to be like that so now if I cut both those ends uh, flat if I uh, if I just select planar then now that's a solid right so let's hide that and uh, same thing with this now I can't if I select planar on this I get a planar do I even get a cap on that end no so really it's because I started uh, this end part um, was not planar there to begin with that bottom surface was coming out a little on the on the uh, off side so I'm just gonna this one I can move in a bit because it's punched in that body um, this one I would have to try and, you know, you want to rethink your model on that end, but as long as I'm back ahead, along of that trim right there, I can get my edges, uh, my ends flattened out. can just select that open piece it's got nice flat ends and I can hit planar and it is a solid now so uh, now that I have two solids I can boolean union them which gives me a nice join curve there nice join edge I mean and then uh, you can run your fillet on it and if I put a 1.5 G G2 on it it's good but this is the part we were discussing is in the back uh, that doesn't really work out uh, right now uh, you, it's very difficult we can't really deal with this in Moy. it doesn't have the command but Michael's talked about um, getting that command so soon we'll be able to do those uh, end patches there and remaining tangent in a couple different directions but uh, we could turn off our edges here and uh, and see that that's a nice smooth surface so here we would have to come in and manually draw curves and and do some surfacing uh, to make that particular situation there work. Anyway, um, that's how I, th you want to have solids punched together uh, to uh, allow fillets and things to work.